the ability to express through dance and music and visual arts is amazing. Every child should have an opportunity to do that. By them participating and producing a work of art in their own ways, it gives them a chance to succeed. Through telling their stories, they learn about themselves. I sometimes use color in my drawings, but usually it's without color. I started when I was quite young, like two or three years old. It can help you focus before a big test at school, or you can do it when you're stressed out. It just helps you think. I do gymnastics, and I didn't make it a state last year because I was very, very like tense and I didn't do it that well. He would be phenomenal halfway through a competition and something would happen where if he had one error or, or two errors, it would, it would get to him naturally. A lot of athletes have this issue. The coaching staff allowed him to pull out his drawing pad and draw during competitions. It just like helps calm me. It makes me feel just like tune out the world and just focus on one thing instead of how you're going to do and what your score is going to be on the podium. It just calms me. This year when I drew, I got the top score in my um, age division and I qualified really, really easily. It allows him to not worry about what could happen and letting all of his emotions and feelings come out on a pen and pad. And at the end of the season, his performance dramatically improved. The arts are so important because it addresses the needs of the whole child. I see the correlation between academic achievement, creativity, and the arts. A student might find his voice within the arts and it might start off as a whisper and it slowly progresses into a steady, solid voice that they can express themselves. I've seen the magic that takes place. Someone who hears for the first time, your story matters. That is revolutionary in a young person's life. I love to read and love to write. I love to dance. And dancing helps me get friends, and it feels so good to get mean stuff and sad stuff out of me. She's always been an outgoing kid ever since she was small, a very happy baby. When it was time for her to actually start school, um, she's very excited. I'm on my first day of school, things like that. What's this word? Rattle! Uh-huh, a baby rattle. And um, she was actually bullied by two different girls the entire um, school year. And she kind of became introverted, and she didn't want to go to school anymore. Her schoolwork started to fail a little bit. I get bullied a lot, and it makes me sad and mad. It's bad for other people to get bullied, and they don't want to go back to school no more. We had to learn how to teach her. When you're frustrated or when you're angry and you can't express it, the one thing you can do is get in front of a mirror on a wood floor, and you dance it out until you can and it kept her motivated. She actually got, the second quarter, she got 100s every week until the end of the school year. And I owe it to dance. I really love dancing, and I'm never gonna stop dancing. When I grow up, I'm still gonna be a dancer. Arts education is an integral part of students' ability to learn, students' ability to access not just the curriculum, but also the world. It just gives them a huge boost of confidence that will support them through life. They can get that empowerment, can tell their story, and perhaps find a career path. Art is really something that adorns and brings beauty. It's really influenced school and lots of things in my life. The Poser Fellowship Program was something I discovered through my youth orchestra I played in when I was 11 years old. I got really excited. I looked up the requirements. I had to submit about 10 different pieces with scores, the sheet music, and uh, the recordings. Andrew's been in the program for a year. It's infrequent that we take incoming freshmen into this program, but his work blew us away. He's, he's, got, he's got something very special both musically based, but also as a, as a human being. I do school online. I love it. I've done it since uh, the sixth grade. This is my world right here. This is my, my canvas. 
things are written down. The entire orchestra um, performed a piece of mine in February, and it was just unreal. I never dreamed of anything like that. It's both about artistry and musicianship and the technicality, but also about citizenship and sharing yourself with the world in a larger way. Art greatly influences other aspects of life, especially in a school situation. Um, art in general, whether it be drawing, painting, singing, doing music, allows for passion and some deep part of you just to be expressed. The arts are vital. People's stories are precious. And increasingly, arts funding has been slashed and cut throughout the public school system in our country. Why is it an option? Why do we have to apply for grants to provide arts for our children? It shouldn't be that way. It's just as valuable as math and reading and science. And if we don't voice that concern, and if we don't demand the arts for our schools, it's not gonna happen. We have to be a voice for our students. There has to be something in our educational policies that says arts education is fundamental. Arts education is essential. We need all levels of government to see that importance and to be able to provide this kind of funding. Our economy, our future depends on providing students and citizens who are capable, who are thinking, and who are making decisions about our world. Art is the pathway to experiencing deep beauty in this world, and so many children today have very, very little access to that.